I loved Bishop. The, the one thing I thank God for, and the reason why I loved Bishop, mm. yeah, he was honest with me he from told day you one. Everything. Bishop never hid, hid anything, anything from me. Mm. He told me everything from day one. He was very open. Actually, even before he told me anything about relationship issues or whatever, mm. he told me everything about his life. Everything what he went through, everything about him, he told me. He was building ground. He uh, was building he manifesto. Told me. So I knew everything. <laughs> mm. And it's one of the things I never wanted, mm. if I tell you. Oh, yeah. Actually, when he told me, it's actually from... It if was it was, <laughs> If it was 40% interest, it came to 20%. I was like, okay, then what? Mm, I don't want so to I don't want to know. But to show you that God really wanted me to be with this man. Mm. And, and all this started making sense to me now because I developed a very strong conviction about the ministry, mm. about serving the Lord. Mm. And the question I was with God, what next? Who's going to usher me into this ministry? Who's going to hold my hand and, and take me to where I want to go? A little did I know that God was using Bishop as a ladder for me to mm. climb on to go where I want to go. But he needed me to walk with such a man who had gone through all these things. And so he told me everything. There's nothing that I would say that I didn't know. I knew about everything, and I told him I need some time to pray about it, and let me hear what God says. And that's the time when I started feeling that I think this is the right man that I mm. need, despite of all that I've heard about him. And there's always that, after prayer, I would feel peace about everything. It took us some time, it was, it took us some time. But what I also want ladies to learn, yeah. people in your circles matters a lot. Yeah, true. When my friend realized this relationship is heading to somewhere, mm. I think these people, because there's a time we cannot hide anymore and we're staying together, mm. she became uh, very shrewd, if I choose to say. She was very shrewd. But at some point, she, she, she wanted to make sure that... It doesn't work. Yes, we parted ways. Mm. And she did her funny things there, you know, trying to make sure that... But I think we're destined to be together. Actually, <coughs> when you say that, most people, there is a saying, there's someone who say that uh, keep quiet. When, you, when, when God has given you something, keep it in your closet until it's t it has matured enough to come out. I uh, agree with that. Nowadays, you find very many people in relationships. The moment has started, oh my God, you know how relationships are uh, from the beginning, the sparks, the excitement, I'm so in love and what. And uh, I mean, we, we all get to know. Uh, the whole world gets to know everyone is in love. We are yeah. posting yeah. our yes. partners, we're doing this. Mm. And that's just at the beginning. Yeah. And uh, actually, someone asked, what if it doesn't work, how are you going to pull down the photos you get post mm. posting everywhere? True, how are you true. going to rub, rub off, <laughs> yeah. or get a rub and put off all the things you talked about the person? Mm, so um, <coughs> they say that sometimes when you bring out things when they haven't matured, uh, you are exposing them to the devil. You're exposing them to wrong people sometimes. Yes. You're exposing them to uh, people that might not actually support you in, in, in that area. It's very true. I, I agree with that because I encountered that with my very closest friend, the one I was sharing the flat with, mm. the one was my workmate, and uh, she fought this relationship. But one thing that I didn't mention earlier on is uh, when I felt like I wanted to get married, mm. <coughs> and that is even before I met Bishop, mm. I remember giving my whole salary to God, as a to seed. God, and I wrote that, Lord, I need a marriage, and a godly marriage. 